Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face, and we're going to be doing some T6 Gamma Abyss. The T6 Gamma Abyss is by far my most profitable isk making activity. Here we are facing a mighty Sanchez wave and I felt like doing this T6 Abyss right now. I've been doing a lot of chill Abyss recently. I felt like doing some hardcore Abyss and there's a particular reason for that. It's because uh, I've moved to, to the countryside recently and with my family we've uh, we've now got a little bit worse internet it's not using fiber optics anymore it's using uh, copper cables and i want to see how it goes because this the abyss is one of the most uh, like intensive kind of activities you can do and you really do not want to disconnect here i just want to feel how smooth it is and so far it's been feeling really smoothly i mean i've made a, a quite a few uh, attempts at doing various activities in the online and with the new internet and it has been going very smoothly. I haven't had any hiccups, but I just wanted to get a T6 uh, site done with the new internet because I've never done it before. Just like sort of benchmark, okay, yeah, it works well. So it seems to be going smoothly so far. I'm taking out these Santa cruisers because they do the most amount of damage. We take quite a bit of damage before they do EM. We're a shield-based ship, that's the reason. Just want to make sure that we don't get popped right here by these little frigates who might swarm us anytime soon. Let's grab this extraction node over here keep forgetting that like, I can use my shield boost as much as I want because I'm so used to using hybrid fits or fits that are not using the shield booster all the time but this is made to be cap stable made to be durable you just use it all the time and where's our range here we're getting tracking disrupted quite a lot of guidance disrupted are there any kind of people who are close we can shoot them use this missile here on the extraction node instead grab this yeah most of the damage is in the all oh, 14 million from my extraction node pretty good pretty good but most of the damage is in those cruisers. Uh, the frigates are not really that uh, that meaningful. So we've almost taken them all out. No problem. You can see our shield are stabilizing really well. The guidance disruptor would be nice to have it taken out because it's going to make us apply worse than missiles. But it's just one, so it's not a big deal. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Have the missiles get on these Sancho frigates. See, now we've got the bioadaptive cache over there. Uh, smoothly, smoothly. I just want to make sure we're doing this in a very efficient manner in the T6 Abyss because time is of the essence, especially when you're using the T6 Gamma filaments. Oof, you've got uh, a big trouble with the timer because of the increased shield HP. Are these Sancho cruisers or Sancho ships? And they'll go a lot quicker if we're in a different type of filament just because of how they've got naturally big shields and then they're increased by the gamma site even more we've got minus 50 percent oh it's also a worst case scenario for time as well because we've got only 50 minus 50 percent 16 mils let's go to the transfer conduit over there they're making decent time three and a half minutes almost destroyed them all now just this row of npcs we need to take out keep a range 500 uh, should be good should be good that's good, 50%, and we're still making it under 5 minutes. I think we'll do this under 5 minutes. We're getting quite a few misses though, but I think it's alright. Because they're going, they're withering them down slowly. Because unfortunately when we're missing a lot, it's not too easy. Okay, good, he automatically aggressed. I like to see the initiative taken from my drones. We can stop the shield boost. I mean, we're going to save a bit of capacity just in case we're into new ting waves. Come on, take him out. We want to do this under 5 minutes. That'll be nice to see. These little frigates taking a bit of time to get through. Land one volley, just one volley, please. Okay, I return them. Let's go. There we go, under five minutes. Good time, good time. What have we got here? Kikimura waves, okay. And Drekovax. Any kind of extraction nodes nearby? We could take go for that extraction node, actually. Ghosting, tangling, we want to go for there, really annoying. I want to go for Muta T2 right here. Oh, they've taken a bit of damage. I haven't repaired them. Silly me, silly me. So there's this starming dammit who's gonna just Leroy Jenkins straight into us. <laughs> He's gonna get taken out real quick right there. The dammit's like to charge in, especially the starvers because their newts only work up close. So they're sort of forced to do that. Let's go for this ghost over here. See, you can see he's quite close. Just, I don't like to deploy my drones at long range, especially Kikimoras, because Kikimoras have good application if they all decide to suddenly switch to my drones, they're gonna die very quickly. And in the beginning of a wave, they have a tendency to just suddenly just switch all of them at once. But when they start attacking me, then they're sort of distracted with me. So I like to be a bit cautious in the beginning of a Kikimura wave when it comes to deploying my drone straight away. 
Now I'm just taking anything out that's uh, relatively close. Can't really even hit me, these guys. Line the volley in the extraction node. I would preferably want to take out these tanglers actually because it's going to make us have a really hard time getting to this bioactive cache that's quite far away. I didn't hit. I need to shoot another missile, I think. Might have shot the missile at the wrong target. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that tangler wants to go away. Oh, Valkyrie. No. Valkyrie, please. Please, Valkyrie. He's right, the Valkyries are very fast, so they might have a chance of getting back alive. Yes, he got back alive. Great. That's what I mean. And this is just probably one of them switched. I don't think they all switched. They take a bunch of damage in the Kikimo. We just did the sheer application of these guys. 14 million from Extraction Node. Again, that's really great to see. Really, really great to see. Okay. Tangler over here. Shining Drekamac. Okay, we are taking a bit of damage now. Who is attacking him? Maybe this Drekavac over here? Okay, we'll recall he's taking a bit of damage, this guy right here. A warrior. A brave warriors. Deploy him again. And we're going to get tangled now. We didn't take them out in time. Oh, we're not getting tangled. Sometimes the enemies, they have E-Wars, but they don't always decide to use them. Like, there's a percentage chance that they use them, because when I Google certain NPCs, you can sometimes see that they've got E-War, like Newt, Web, and it says that sometimes I see, I don't know if this applies to the Abyss NPCs, but at least I know when it applies to the NPCs we find in Asteroid Belts, and certain types of uh, faction, I think, faction enemies, or enemies we find in DD sites, that there's a percentage, oh, there's like percentage chance to use uh, the Webify, for example. So they won't always use Webifies. I noticed that in missions, actually, with elite frigates as well. Sometimes they just use Webify as scram, sometimes they use web, sometimes they use nothing. A little bit dependent on RNG right there. Uh, this wave went pretty smoothly. Apart from the drone aggro, but that's sort of a given when you're in the T6 Abyss. Kiki over here. With Spy Adaptive over here. Landlord Volley over there. Striking Dammer. These Dracovacs will take a bit of time to get through. They're pretty meaty, but it's alright. They're very far away, surprisingly. Why are they not getting closer? We'll have our drones with them away. Oof, there's a lot of different stuff we got there, but it wasn't worth as much as I thought. But for 40 million, that was pretty good. But I just saw the old filament, but it was not that good of a filament. And it was all right, but just the control system, mutoplasmid. So, so far, 76 million esque. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Can get a bit closer. Use our missiles. Okay, now the timer is going towards, we've spent more than five minutes on this wave. But the copper internet is holding out really well. It's holding out really well. We've got very expensive subscription. So that's also contributing it to being very fast internet. But I've not, not I've noticed any hiccups at all. Only thing is that when hiccups do happen, it can be very deadly. So I think it would be more like a test over time. Do many sites for an extended period of time and see if we have any hiccups. Always like to keep my phone on nearby in case so that I use the hot mobile hotspot. Okay, next room. Okay, we've got plenty of time right here, nine minutes. That's good. What wave do we have here? Elite Lucifers. Okay, we do not want to go for the extraction node with Elite Lucifer because it's just going to take forever. Actually, we'll do it because we've got plenty of time. Elite Lucifer Cinnabar. Boost a bit up a bit. Come out. Drones. Take him out. That's a lot of elites. <laughs> That's a lot of elites. I'm not used to seeing that many elites, actually. Even in T6. But it should go very smoothly. The Cinnabar waves, I've not found much problems with them in the Gila because they do a lot of explosive damage as well as EM damage. And the explosive damage is are so easy to counteract here because the Gila has naturally very good explosive resists. This is just a basic shield-based ship. Like a classic shield-based ship. Okay, Valkyrie's taking a bit of damage. Recall them, deploy other group. Oh, this one took a bit of damage. Might want to move that to the other group, actually. Oh, we're getting neutered quite hard. 
I want to take out all these elites over here, they're newt the most. Get a bit of pulses right here. Because you don't need to fully boost all the time. Deploy the drones. Keep taking them out. Keep taking them out. There's a Lucifer Cinnabal as well. When we've taken out all the Cinnabals, newting should be no issue. You just want to be careful here. Do not want to get too cocky, even though the Cinnabal waves usually are quite easy. Can be difficult if you've got big newts like we've got right now. We have got dual cap battery, so it does help. Still, you want to be careful. You want to be very, very careful. Oh no, Valkyrie's taking so much damage. Crazy how much damage we're taking in the drone aggro department. Come on, take them out, drones. Drones, take them out. We're soon there, we're soon there. The newts are clearing, the newts are clearing. Don't need to boost up so much now. Got half shields, I think it's alright. Well, that's some serious newts actually. My classical Gila is not usually challenged so hard by newts, but this is one of the few cases it is actually. Other kinds of situations where it gets challenged by newts are mass starving Leshak waves, they can be very deadly. But they're usually not that bad that it's a problem because their newt cycles are so slow. So I'm usually able to just gain a bit of capacity in the meantime and kill them before they're even able to do anything because they just have so little HP. But these elite Lucifer Cinnabals are pretty strong. They're pretty tough nuts to crack. They take a bit of time to take out, unlike the Leshaks. Come on, drones. Let's move this guy here. This guy here. So we get some full healthy drones. Land a volley over here in this extraction node. Now we want to probably take out the web of fires. And the web of fires are in pretty much every ship in the angel wave. That's why I don't like going for these extraction nodes because approaching them like we're doing manually right now is a very slow process since we're always basically guaranteed to get webbed in an angel wave just because of how their EWO works. Every Cinnabar has webs and multiple frigates have webs too. Grab this extraction node over here. Lucifer Cinnabar, the Lucifer Echo. Lucifer Cinnabar is not webifying us anymore. It means he's probably trying to webify our drones. Maybe Lucifer Echo is a better option because he's always webifying. Can I please stop taking drone aggro? So much drone aggro and newts. Yeah, this is a pretty slow wave, but now the wave is almost destroyed completely because of just having to take a... Everything was deadly, and they were taking out everything deadly. It's pretty much the whole wave is gone now. 900k, that's pretty different from the other extraction nodes. We've got 14 million, but it's still all right. It's just sometimes it, is, it can be a bit of an RNG. It's like, oh, I spent all that time to get to that extraction node, and it was not even worth it. Pretty chill, pretty chill. Is this a demon automatic suppressor? Oh yeah, we want to be careful right there because our drones are going to get slapped. Short range ones are really powerful. But I think it might be not even in range of the bioadaptive cache because it's a short range. So it's only got like 15 kilometers of range or something like that. So I think we should be safe if we're just approaching this bioadaptive cache. Plus the NPCs are already going to be destroyed by the time we've got uh, uh, close to the bioadaptive cache. There are only two frigates left. Valkyrie, come on. Attack the Dreamil. There we go. Okay, open the bioadaptive cache. Oof. Oof. This is some serious isk right there. There was some 70 mil bioadaptive cache. An unstable medium shield extender and the X large shield with the mutoplasm. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Filaments here weren't that great, but the mutoplasmids, they really delivered in this run. Nice to see, nice to see. So what's the total is? 150, uh, not invasion, abyss. 147 billion in just under 17 minutes, or over 17 minutes. Fortunately, the other waves took quite a bit of time. Those, that first one was really quick, but the other ones were very, very slow. But we got through at least, we got through at least with a bit of time to spare. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it for this Abyss site. Seems like the new internet we've got works really well. Hopefully it'll continue to work well in our future Abyss runs and we won't lose our multi-billionaire skiller. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please even like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.